Welcome back to my channel. Uh, whew, sorry. Today um is not really. I'm not so happy today right now because I just found out my footage, all of my footage that I made the other day, got deleted. Um, pretty upset about that, but we can get through that. And the thing is, I was about to finish. I finished my drawing. I thought I had saved the footage and then the next morning looked at my editor and none of the footage was there instead of just complaining about it all day I'm going to show you what got deleted from my footage and hopefully uh and that this is what I actually came up with for purple um so I filled a spread over here and then I filled this, and I never actually finished it completely. I was going to finish it today. So, for me to finish it, I'm going to draw some air balloons all around. Like some smaller ones, and color it all. Uh, so I can still got, give you guys a good, um, a good little look. So you guys can have a video for today, because I did promise you guys I would be doing a video. Um, and I'm very sorry that I was not able to make the purple video. Uh, I did actually, but it got deleted, so I'm really upset about that, but it's okay. So, in this video, I will be teaching you guys how to make a hot air balloon. Um, and then we're going to do it multiple repeated times, making it bigger and smaller. This is the biggest I could get it. Uh, I did not want to make that bit too big. Uh, I think it turned out really well, but uh, we just have a little bit more sketching to do, and then we can color it and stuff like that. So, first step is to make the little crate, like the box. Oh, I never even finished this. Oh, okay, so when you're, once you draw like a person and you're done with that all, you would then, then, like, wait, and then... You would only make the back of the basket at that, like once you're done making everything. I know that doesn't look too even, so I'm going to try to fix that. I think it's like more right here. And I'm just gonna erase these little pencil marks that I still have random places there. Sorry, never really got to that yesterday, so yeah. So, once you got the crate, we're not, we're just gonna, you don't actually have to make this pattern if you can even see the pattern. <sighs> well, it's like a line, 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 line. Um, but for mine, this time, I'm going to do like a polka dot theme. So, I'm not going to like draw the polka dots, but you can do like a square, like a pattern like that if you wanted to. So, now that you have your crate, you do like two lines up with them connected at the very bottom, like that. If that makes any sense. And then you do the same thing here. Um, I'm not actually gonna draw any people in it. It's just like a background kind of thing, so yeah. So now I'll just get this like rectangle. So you make like a rectangle area connecting these two things. And then you draw your little balloon. That should not look like that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the first time I made this, it took me a couple of tries to actually get that balloony shape. Uh, <laughs> that's even a wordy. But yeah, it did not end up how I wanted it the first couple of tries. So I was still... Um, even now, I'm still trying to get this perfect shape. But I really don't think it needs to be that big of a deal. So it's kind of like drawing a light bulb. So what I did was like I drew a light bulb shape and then I kind of wanted it to look a little less light bulby. So you round, you round it on the edges instead of going in, you round it. It's very interesting. Can like go round out instead of round in. in. It's like ah, I don't know. It's kind of, so I don't always know how to explain this stuff. Like right here. Okay, here, can you just even? 
Well, this thing right here, that is my preview sketch of a hot air balloon. Uh, I was trying to balloon, and then I'm like, maybe I should make a hot air balloon out of this to make it look cool. So I, I'm doing that. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to draw a balloon. So this is hot air balloon number one, and then we're going to do hot air balloon number two. So also I'm going to do like a base coat and then polka dots. Okay, so now I'm going to just repeat the steps I did for this hot air balloon on this side. So yeah, let's get into that cool mess of things. Uh, hopefully this won't be a very long, like too long of a video, but I think we're doing pretty good in time-wise so far. It's only been a couple minutes. Yeah. Sorry, I'm trying to get my chair to get that like rolled in again. It gets on the carpet and then it gets stuck. So, it's a little annoying. <gasps> okay, rolling it in. Okay, so now we're going to. So, in case you guys wanted me to like repeat the steps or something uh, for the hot air balloon, then I totally will right now. So, yeah. Um, before we finish, I like finish with this one. Uh, make sure to draw your little other side if you're after or in, like if you're drawing something in it other than, i'm not but if you wanted to so yeah okay so now i'm going to repeat the steps of making my hot air balloon this time i'm going to make it a smaller one so it looks like it's in the far distance that's really like the smaller means like the less it's like farther away but when it's like big it's either closer or it's just really big. But hot air balloons are just really big, but they also can be very small from distance than like perspective. It's all about the perspective of things, you know. Uh, trying to get this one for some reason was more of a struggle because it's so much smaller. And you know, I like to draw, like I usually draw small and stuff, but when you switch back and forth, it can get confusing, so. I was trying to get this to look as good as possible. Uh, the first one I made was a little bit off, but I decided to keep it because I did not feel like trying to redraw this multiple times again and again. But before I actually um, get to coloring and stuff, I decided to take a look at all my erasing. Uh, because, well, that's all the erasing I have done in the t past time from yesterday and today. And it's not all because of the purple, but it's also because of other sketches that I've done. Probably should clean my desk maybe a little bit more often. Okay, so now that I am done with the out, like the sketch, um, I'm going to do an outline and I'm going to get, try to teach you guys. A uh, really good thing, like a really good way to use, like how to, which pen to use and how to use and how, like how to use it, uh, how to do it, you know, what to use for these certain things. So yeah, let's get straight to that. And once we do our outline, we will color, which we'll just, I'll just, I might just speed that up. And for this one, I think I'll just make it like, I think for this one, I might do like a, zigzag pattern if you wanted to know what i was gonna do for that one so yeah let's get into the pen stuff yeah i'll go grab some pens and then i'll come back this is how it looks and now i'm going to get coloring so yeah let's get straight to it okay so now i'm going to go in with a completely different pen that I didn't think I'd actually be using. Uh, this little black pen. Uh, and as you could probably tell, and I probably said, um, I remembered that this was completely only purple challenge, so I covered it with purple, because that's what I had to do, so yeah. Um, but you can use black in any color challenge, because, well, yeah. So I'm using the black as the reason why I'm making these stripes is because like, hmm, 
kind of. They will not really. Don't know if this is gonna show up or not. As an actual thing that looks, but I've seen this done. It's kind of like a shadowy thingy. So since today was a very short video, I actually have another thing that I'm going to post and share with you. Uh, pretty excited that I learned this from a really cool channel. But first, um, make sure to subscribe, like, and comment below what you want to see next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.